Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Close Combat. Wacht am Rhein with me, Lord Cucumber. Okay, uh, it's been a while since I recorded. Uh, for those of you watching this in 2013, I know. <laughs> uh, I've had some private stuff I had to take care of. And, um, well, since the weather here in the Netherlands has been shit of late, uh, <coughs> certain things sort of remained to do every time I want to start. Uh, I had to ha pick my uh, sunny moments. Um, then again, uh, minis, of course, aren't that important. <laughs> but uh, well, not to you anyway. To me, they are. So I, uh, I really picked uh, picked a couple of moments to uh, to go for that. And also other things that are uh, related to the real world were um, were intervening. Anyway, we're going to be fighting against von Boom, von Boom, Boom, whatever, with the 112 28th Infantry Division. Uh, yeah, I wonder how far we'll get, but uh, we'll, we'll 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 wait and see. This time we don't have artillery support, so who knows? Who knows what might happen? Just looking up here. Yeah, we did all right so far, but we forgot to give these guys artillery support, so this should be uh, interesting to say the least. <coughs> we have no more AT guns. We have bazooka guys that are somewhat effective. Do we have more than one? Yeah, we've got more than one bazooka team extra. So if I were to take out one of these 60 millimeter mortars, remove these guys, get them a bazooka team, that wouldn't be at all bad, would it? No. Alright, so the rest of it is pretty standard. Germans attack though, so that's something we can um, rely on. They have to move up. They have to get up here uh, in one piece. So that's going to be our... Well, I'm not going to say it's going to be our, our advantage, but it's going to help. <laughs> Definitely going to help. Uh, can these guys watch the other side of the road there? D -d -d more or less. Not exactly. And they can't see shit from there. Okay, hmm. I'm guessing they're coming from this road area here. And that would mean if I were to put the bazookas in this building here, they would probably have a better chance of uh, actually getting a tank blown to bits. Yeah, exactly. So there we go. They have that little area there to pop a few. Um, I, I, this is a wild stab in the dark. I don't know where the Germans will be coming from, so I'm going to put this first bazooka team up here. They're just going to simply have to um, make do. There we go. And rifle team is going to be there to support them from, from here, I guess. There we go. And then maybe we have the 30 caliber, which we'll put... Where is it useful to put them up here? I have no idea. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's relatively useful. It'll cover the big hole there. <laughs> uh, okay, the mortar team. Mm, don't want them there. That's a manor house. Let's put them in the field here. There we go. They'll dig in. They'll be fine. Um, then we have a platoon leader who should be close to the bazooka team and give them the proper odas. Proper odas. On ambush. There we go. So that's the first team. Second team is going to be here in the middle in the crossroad section. Aiming probably for the crossroads. Um, where are you? Oh, you're over here. Okay. That's awesome. All right. Ambush like this, and the other bazooka team is going to be like right across the street from them. That seems like the more reasonable um, position. I I don't know if they'll be coming through these fields. They might actually put all their tanks. No, they can't. They have to put them up down the road there. So um, this is actually pretty safe, considering. Considering what might happen, 
this is uh, the safest way to go. All right, cool. Um, yeah. Okay. Now they need some sort of support there. Um. Okay, that's actually not a bad position there. I think. You can cover this field, can't they? Yeah, sort of. Okay, we'll put a machine gun there just to cover the rear end of things. But as we are doing the support for the middle team, we'll do this. There we go. Alright, there's a, B, a 30 caliber machine gun right there. I actually like that position. Um, although, yeah, no, it's good. We'll do this. We will do this. No, let's not put them on the pen. We'll put them on ambush. There we go. Okay. Uh, and then we have a 60 millimeter mortar, which is sort of sitting, laying back here. We've got one in the field there. Put the other one in the field here on ambush. And then somewhat like this under these trees. Okay, that's fine. And a platoon leader. Obviously, we want them close to our guys um, that are, are supposedly going to hit the tank. So we'll put him like right there on ambush. There we go. I want them in the building if, if at all possible. Come on, it can't be that small. Yeah, exactly. There we go. That works. That works for me. All right. So now we've got a BAR team ambushing there, which is pretty good actually. Um, yeah, they can sort of watch the. Fields. Although I guess I prefer to have them do that from another spot. I don't know where the infantry is going to come from. That is my main concern here. Ah, this is a better spot to uh, actually watch down the field. So do it down. Do it from there. Got another rifle team right here. Uh, Got to protect my flanks. There we go. Can I put them? No. I want to put them in the building. I can't. Can I please put them in? Please. No, there's there's no way. There's just, just it's not going to happen. Okay. And then there's the platoon leader. Who, of course, will be quite close by these guys. Also an ambush. Not too close, though. We don't want our officer to be there. Right in the middle of the field of fire of the explosions. Thank you. Okay, and then we have another 60 millimeter mortar, which has been positioned here. It will be like guarding this, uh, this agricultural tractor. <laughs> yes, yes, guard the tractor, man, and uh, take cover behind it. Why not? All right, let's begin, and hopefully the enemy will be in a shit position to move. Have they noticed us? They have not. Will they notice us? Most likely. I'm gonna be trying to take the freaking train station already. Yeah, you guys come on in. Come on in, boys. You're gonna take the train station, aren't you? Yeah, that's what I thought. Can we hit this? I could probably hit this. Give them a little bit of worry. There we go. One lucky hit is all we need. if we even damaged it. I don't think we did. I'm going to put him back on ambush. Oh, we actually got it. I heard it. Awesome. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> yeah, that's what you get for messing with me. It looks like the AI has no interest in doing uh, new stuff with me. So we're gonna have to fool around with him a little bit. Will this penetrate? It will. 
Good, we'll do the same to the Puma. One hit, that's all it takes. Oh, hello. There's another guard, uh, open card, topped card there. Might be able to hit that. Oh, wow, we damaged it. Okay, already. rounds are we down to? Okay. Come on. Direct your fire. Alright. Down to 10 rounds, so I'm gonna... Well, we damaged it, you know. So that's awesome. Well, we might as well try and blow it into bits. I don't think the AI is going to do much else in this uh, particular part of the game. They haven't even bothered taking the train station. I think they're waiting for me to move. <laughs> and I'm not gonna move. I'm gonna stay right here. I'm gonna sit this one out. Um, I'm gonna go for uh, one last round of these. Is that also a vehicle? No, not sure. Only one round, that's all it takes. One right round in the right spot at the right time. Whoa, that was a direct hit on the engine. Alright, they are definitely down to their last ammo, almost. Saving ammo. Okay, we'll try one more shot at the Puma. Oh, we immobilized one of them. Out of ammo, 81 millimeters out of ammo. Okay, cool, we immobilized that one. That's definitely worth it. Oh, it's got to move now, really? It's like, oh, I got to move. Uh, it's a lazy puma, that's what it is. Oh, you can fire at us. Okay. Okay. Alright, fine. And boys, save your last rounds. What about you? Yeah, save your last rounds. That's okay. Alright, so we've pretty much messed up his uh, first initial assault. Took some heads. Destroyed a vehicle. I'm happy. I don't know about you, but uh, what we need now is a, a brave rocketeer to um, <laughs> finish off one of those guys. That's what we need. That's not what we're going to get. And I'm actually pretty sure that the AI will screw me over by not doing anything. Uh, making this a very boring episode. Yeah, they're definitely not moving. What I could do, that's definitely an 
option is move this rifle team really carefully up here. I mean, there's a wall here and a train dike. I'm sure they can't actually see us if we do that. No, they can't because the train dike, thank God for dikes, is in the way. So, if we can do that, we can pretty much break in the points for no reason, which is absolutely what we'll be trying now. <laughs> um, well let's see, we've got that road, that's ours. They might have actually taken the train station, in which case they have a three-story building. They might have set up in this, um, in the, the area, I can't, you can't see my mouse pointer, but the area right of the flag. That could prove troublesome, which is also why I'm crawling. I want the smallest chance possible of them seeing me. Still, I'm f I'm all for using that uh, artillery. I'm gonna give it one more go on the open top vehicle. Who knows? I might get lucky. Doesn't look like they have a lot of infantry with them. Hello. Really? Oh wow, we got it? Yeah, we did. Uh, actually, oh, I got somebody. Okay, so they spotted a, a tank here. Which isn't that good. I want you to sneak up the road. That doesn't mean you have to sneak through a building. They haven't seen us yet, which is a good thing means we can probably... uh oh. Have they noticed? <laughs> yep, they have. Okay. I suggest you run. <laughs> and get back there. Go, 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 go. Oh wow, they're actually moving. You're moving on the flank now. They're like, fuck this shit. Yep, okay, they're moving through the woods here. I want you back there now. Fall back, fall back. Run, run, run for all your worth. Oh god. Get out of there. Um Okay, now they're on the move. They are on the move. And they know what they're doing. Or not. I don't think that thing that the Phil's Panther is gonna get anywhere. Maybe we'll get lucky. Who knows? Put them on the fence. Wow, nice. That worked. <laughs> Clearly that worked. Holy shit. They come over this area here, we're gonna shoot them. Shoot them good. Yeah, they're moving their uh, infantry up there, so I'm gonna just move these guys up here, there we go, get a move on Enemy spotted. defend 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 the hill Fall back. Okay. Hmm. Get some smoke in there. Force them out. Get out of there. 
crawl out now. Oh, there were more vehicles there. Which were probably... Do we still have mortar? We do have mortar rounds! Oh, that's lovely. Feigling. No, no, not Feigling. What? Really? Okay. Uh, I'm not a Feigling. I'm, I'm like actually quite heroic. Oh, saving ammo. Why are you saving ammo? What the hell? You've got yourself a filled tube, man. You can just fire. <sighs> oh well. I'm glad I have still, still got some mortar rounds. I suppose that will definitely help stop the enemy. Whatever decision they make. It's going to be a pretty gruesome one. Um... Yep, got a couple of vehicles bu burning and an entire field of filled with smoke here. So ambush. Get oh, good! It's a, it's a bu bunch of Germans <laughs> going uh, down a railroad track. Not the smartest thing to do, but uh, yeah, that's how it goes. Can you see anyone? You probably can. I'll put you on defense. Just in case you spot somebody. Let's start shooting at them. Haha. <laughs> okay. Um, I think we killed a bunch of infantry here at that uh, vehicle. Uh, mainly due to it getting shelled by its own tank. Um, which is pretty gruesome. If you think, if you think of it. Okay. These <laughs> These things are not going to do any firing with the smoke already. Okay. Yeah, you're not going to get there, dude. We're going to keep firing at you until you stop moving. That is what we'll be doing. And you have to move your tanks up or you'll, you won't be shooting anyone. There we go. We'll just also use these guys now for defensive fire. All our machine gun posts are now free to fire at will at anyone coming in as a dick. There we go. Aufklärer. Okay. <laughs> Aufklärer. You're not gonna aufklär anyone, you dick. Aha. Go on. Be my guests. Be guests in Deathland. Willkommen auf die Deathland. Okay, well this is it, I guess, for the Germans. They have 15 minutes left. I don't suppose they'll be doing any movement soon. They're gonna try and move around, probably behind that panther if they're smart. But the moment we see them and we can hit them, we will. And they are definitely moving down the railroad line to... Uh, to the east instead of the west. They're like, no way, man. I'm not doing this again. Unfortunately, my entire rifle team here got um, hammered. I couldn't retreat them. The 88 millimeter was just too much. Too much of the good cookie. certainly wish I could get the bazooka and hit the uh, Befils Panther. That would definitely help a great deal, but we're not going to do that. It's not likely, at least. I think we uh, pretty much messed up its armor in the area here with all the craters. I uh, don't think they were able to move, <coughs> despite being uh, all there. <coughs> okay, so, okay, well, part of this team isn't dead. It doesn't, doesn't look like they're all dead. They might be, two of them might be alive. It's 
just makes this all the more hard. <laughs> oh well. So they took a road, so what? That'll give us something to shoot at next time we play. Yeah. Maybe we should sh just shell the, uh, that little forest dell there behind the, uh, the panzer. See how that, how they like that. Again, what the hell? Tio, what are you doing? And why? You have four fucking shells. What are you doing? Is it a problem with your tube? Is it, is it, might it be, did I miss the gun jam thingy me gig? I might have. Okay, oh, there they are. They are on the railway deck. Yeah, you'd better run. Now they're gonna make a run for it. I think they're gonna, they're gonna try it. They are gonna try it. They're gonna try it, I'm sure of it. Put these guys on the defense as well. Can't be seen by the armor, so that's excellent. Why don't you move to this area here now? Get a little bit closer to the um team redeployed. Oh okay, that's fine. Defend that area there. Go. Anyone trying to poke their head out will get shot. I want you guys to be in that corner over there. Get going. Ah oh, there we go. Now you can at least see something. They're shouting, take cover. Which is probably a good idea. <laughs> I don't get it. Okay, these guys still have four smoke... No, that's smoke rounds that they have. Not explosive rounds. That's the reason why this is going wrong. If I select smoke, it's no problem. But if I select something else, it does become a problem. That's right. Germany. This is not going anywhere. You're stuck. If you move, we zap you. If you don't move, we zap you. Stop ma'am stop faffing about on the play railroad and get over here. Ugh City gets. Alright, these guys have no more options, so I'll put you on defense right there. There we go. Anyone coming through? along the railroad line will get an extra shot or two off from these guys. Okay, well, that's all cool. I think uh, the AI is, uh, is running out of options. It might still rush for us um, at the very end, so I'm gonna wait that one out. Um, any case, this is our this is our luck. I mean, we we hold most of the cards here. We've got we've got the um, the western roads in our hands. We've got the western fields in our hands. And the Germans have made very little progress. We damaged one of their vehicles and destroyed two. And we also took a, a nice bite out of his infantry with about the same bite out of our infantry. So not to worry, not to worry. I could go for a truce, I suppose. See if they accept. I don't think now well, they might accept actually. And yeah, we'll go for truce. What the hell? Why not? We'll ask truce. And if the AI accepts it, then we're done. Ah, they accept it. Okay. We uh, we won the battle, and we took about twenty percent of their force out. Let's have a look at the details here. Yep, we destroyed two vehicles. Damaged zero, though. Ah, that's unfortunate. I ex hope that that one that was damaged would still be okay. And as I told you, our infantry losses are almost equal. So that's pretty nifty. In fact, we lost less than he did. Huh. Excellent. Alright, we're gonna do one more. 
um, these guys, the uh, 9th Armored Division CCR, which is a command unit. These are all officers called to the front to protect uh, things, uh, stuff. <laughs> Does that make sense? I don't know. <laughs> all right, so we've got a Hellcat, we've got a Scott, we've got a mortar carrier and a bunch of Shermans and some infantry. Sweet. Let's do it. The battle continues. Oh yeah, we were fighting in this little um, chateau area. That's true. Completely forgot. Um, the Hosingen Road was ours. We captured that one. Ha! And Heiner Scheidt is also ours. Heine Scheidt. <laughs> you know, Scheidt from the Heine. Okay. Enough of that. Silly, silly gits. Um, I guess we can make a nice, nice pincer position here. We can. We have two. 76 millimeter Shermans, where are they? Yeah, we're gonna road them up here. They're gonna be like on the Heine Scheidt road, defending downwards. Perhaps a little bit back, covered by this little house here. Yeah, that'll work. I like it. And then we'll give them a little friend here. Yeah, let's g let's give him a little friend. And it will be behind this little tank rack here. Yeah. Yeah, on the fence, yeah. Like that. There we go. Nice little friend. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have the bottom team. Uh, yeah, they took a housing and road, so I susp suspect they would want to have one or two tanks there. Let's take a Sherman, put it up the road here. There we go. Put it on the fence towards the north. Sort of what up here is that is that a good position is do we can we see down the road no we can't what if we put it over here is that in any way interesting no it, it isn't because it's hard to see there but this is good how well are we spotable there mm, oh that's actually pretty nice yeah that's good that's a good position we'll do it um the the scots now that's a self-propelled gun uh, I suppose we could put it up here next to the um, to that one, and he'll be on the fence defending this area here. So anyone pushing through there will have an issue, and can just hope that they have a tissue. And here's another Sherman, which we will keep in reserve down the road here. It's not going to be completely in reserve, but it will protect our approach here, which is what we want. 76mm Shermans are fantastic pieces of equipment, uh, despite them being slightly weaker than the German stuff. But hey, you can't pick and choose every time. Let's see, this is a nice field of fire for this forest, perfect. Put you on ambush, you won't be going anywhere. And we'll give you some um, armored support, I guess. I'm really distributing my units here. I'm fully aware of that. For anyone who has the urge to tell me this is not the way you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to keep them together. Yep, you are. But then again, it's me. <laughs> and I don't always listen. Uh, this mortar team can go down here behind the tank. Then we have an engineer team, which will be in front of the tank, I guess, on ambush. There we go. Then we have the Hellcat, anti-tank. I suppose we can put you up here. What can you see? Can you see this forest here? I feel that the AI is going to be a cheeky bastard and put stuff in the forest there. So we're going to put you on the fence right there on that corner. Uh, then we have a command Sherman, which we should just keep near the other vehicles. Which is nice to put up here. There we go. Can you see anything? Yeah, you can see down the road. Anyone coming to this point? The choke point there with the little rack will have a definite issue. <laughs> And then we have the infantry. We've got a platoon leader right here. Nope, no, uh, I said we've got a platoon leader right here. What about, what, what, no, I want the other one. It's the, it, uh, 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 
I didn't want to move you. Damn you. Okay, this is that platoon leader. That platoon leader goes in with the middle group guying the guys. They're gonna be spotters. There we go. And I've got another one here. Another platoon leader right here. There we are. Put you in with these guys. It's gonna cost us officers, I just know it. Armed infantry team dude man. Um I guess we should strengthen our defenses here somewhat. Shouldn't we? Yeah we got two of those, that's good. There we go, we got one more unit like that. Yeah, no, our south flank is secure enough. I'm sort of worried about the north flank though. <laughs> there we go, on ambush. Okay, so we've got people in the towers, we've got people on the guns. I guess we're done. I guess we're ready to rock and roll. Let's do it. Enemy oh, good. You won't be dropping us. Not today. The forest of death. What? What? Oh no, really? You're bailing out all over the place. What the hell? Ah, they're all in the forest. Awesome. Yeah, we lost a couple of tanks, but so did they. Wow, we had a direct hit on that tank. Apparently we can penetrate this tank's top. I think... I think... Gotta put the infantry on the fence now. Have they now? Oh, there's a troop in them here. Huh. Okay. Throw some uh, nice uh, mortar shots in there. Some tree bursts to go. So we lost quite a few of our armor, but in comparison to them, oh wow! Oh, they're walking, they're walking. Adjust fire. We've got walkers in the forest. The ceasefire, eh? Well, okay. I'll take it. <laughs> there we go. Wow. The battle ended because both sides agreed to a ceasefire. Both sides still control some victory locations. The Allies won the battle because they control a greater number of crucial victory locations than the Allies. <laughs> yes. You, know, you won't take our little castle away from us. Let's look at the details for a moment. Yeah, they messed up our armor. But we messed up their armor as well. 
And look at the infantry kills on the side of the Germans. Holy shit. Yeah. That's gonna weigh on them. <laughs> How well are they armed now? Mm, they're, they're thinning out. And we're just beginning. So that's super. How old is that for the Von Bohm group? Yeah, they're also thinning out, but so are we. Okay. Alright. Um, I'm going to fight this one next time. Make this an episode. Thank you all for joining me. And um, see you all next time. Bye-bye.